Tonight, we're going to talk about your health and what went wrong. And how sugar and processed food are going to kill you, along with fruit juice. This is the opinion of an endocrinologist, Dr. Robert Lustig. He has written a book called Metabolical, which will give you all of the histories, the whys and wherefores. The man is quite an entertaining fellow. He gives lectures and he believes in either a low carb diet, high fat diet, or the high carb, low fat diet. In any case, don't mix your macros. Don't put diesel fuel and gasoline in the same gas tank. That's the point of the whole exercise. It is an entertaining, disturbing book meant for the usual people, the common man. Who's done it? What's wrong? What's right? Unfortunately, although it tells you these things such as, oh, meat might cause cancer or whatever, it's from epidemiology, and he doesn't tell you how to read epidemiological studies, which is very simple, in fact. He does point out that epidemiology cannot prove causation. But that's the only thing we got. Yeah. In other words, the only thing we got is junk science. But, you know, some science is more junk than others, is basically what he's saying. But there are random controlled trials out there. So, one has to ask. If it's not gluttony and sloth that's making us obese, have heart attacks, and drop over dead, what is it? Well, it's the slop you've been eating. <laughs> Breakfast cereal. No, don't eat that stuff. It's bad for you. Bread. The white stuff. It's bad for you. Well, so's the brown stuff, okay? It's all carbs. Don't eat plants, damn it. <laughs> What have we evolved to eat? What did we evolve growing up and all this eating? The flesh and fat of animals. Why change now? It was working so well. And then they invented hydrogenation so that plants could be used to provide fats. And they told us it was healthy. Crisco. It's the new lard. Don't be old fashioned. Get the new improved lard. Yeah. You know what that stuff does when you heat it? It almost entirely becomes trans fats. You heat that stuff beyond its smoking point. Trans fats right away so there's your cancer hit right there and that's with any so-called vegetable oil which is made from seeds and it's all detailed for you in metabolical the book that we're reviewing right this moment and yes it is true trans fats will kill you you do not need to eat plants at all, ever. Sorry, but you don't. In fact, it's better if you didn't. However, I know some of you can't resist asparagus or a salad. You think, roughage, I need roughage. Well, actually, no, not really. 
Yes, this is one point where I disagree with the good Dr. Lustig. He thinks you must feed your gut roughage. I don't know about him, but I feed mine. Active culture yogurt works just as well, you know. But then, I'm not lactose intolerant. I am worried about becoming diabetic later. So I gotta be careful with that sort of thing. Because you know what diabetes does. It leaves you open for every other thing on the block from heart disease to dementia, peripheral arterial disease. Who needs that stuff? Not me. Uh-uh. No way, baby. It's just how it is. So, I can recommend this book uh, if you want to go through the whole dirty, tawdry story of people's lives being put into danger but just because some great food conglomerate owned by Mr. Kellogg Talk about a weird man. Hmm. Mr. Kellogg, Dr. Kellogg, started that company, and it all went downhill from there. Now we have 10 companies, count them, in control of our food. We pander to the farmers. We pandered to the sugar manufacturers, and now we're going to get plant, plant meat grown in the vat in some lab. Soil and green, yes. It's all so good for you. It's all fake. 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 So, sorry, but I'm not eating it. And neither should you. And for the reasons why, go read Diabolical. Fresh and up to date. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. <laughs> Please do come again.